All right, once we have uh, the schematic diagram created and the footprints uh, assigned to all our symbols, uh, we have uh, generated the netlist. It is time uh, now to uh, create the layout. So to do that, we will uh, click on this PCB layout icon and uh, the first thing that we do again is to uh, do page settings and uh, select uh, use letter, uh, the date, uh, revision uh, 2.0 and uh, this is our USB uh, to UART converter I'll just put here uh, my name okay uh, and uh, it is time to uh, import the to netlist. import the netlist uh, we used to have a uh, button an icon here which is not there anymore so I guess uh, it can be done through file import netlist uh, load and test uh, all seems to be okay and then uh, update PCB which would probably uh, bring all the footprints into uh, the layout here so uh, let's place it uh, in the middle and uh, take a look so we have here all the footprints of all our components uh, clustered together uh, in no particular uh, floor plan uh, that is of good use uh, so we'll have to do this uh, placement of all of these compo uh, footprints uh, components uh, manually because KiCad doesn't have an automatic uh, placement and uh, routing tool uh, so you can uh, uh, basically select each and every one of those and uh, hitting uh, key uh, M uh, move it around you will see this uh, connection showing up uh, the connections that will have to be uh, done at the routing time uh, connections that will have to be <coughs> created uh, through routing uh, right before anything uh, we should uh, set up some design rules uh, you would want to set up design rules uh, most likely uh, based on uh, what you want to do and, and based on what you want to do your uh, PCB manufacturing uh, so there are many um, uh, sites out there would uh, tell you different design rules uh, for example Ash Park uh, if you're planning to manufacture your boards at wash at uh, wash park you should uh, read and, and do uh, the design rules according to what they say because that's what the manufacturing capabilities will, will support if you do it with glc pcb then you should read uh, about their minimum design rules on their website and and uh, there are many other websites as well as tutorials out there who would uh, tell you how to uh, do it uh, in my case i'll keep things uh, simple and I will uh, just go and uh, do some um, uh, simple uh, design rules that will uh, keep this to zero I will set this to 10 oops meals I didn't mean to close that leave this at uh, that I will set this to 27 mils uh, I will set this to 13 mils I will set this well I will leave that as it is uh, I'll set this to 27 13 mils and then predefined uh, nets uh, I will add uh, one here and I will use a uh, 10 mils uh, here I will uh, add 27 and 13 mils uh, I will add another one and I will make it 20 mils uh, I will use those for uh, power uh, VCC in, in the ground and uh, this one here uh, I will make it 54 and uh, 27 mils uh, for net classes I'll use the default but I'll make some changes here 
I will set this up to six. I will set this up to ten. Uh, GS size uh, twenty seven. Maybe a hold thirteen. Also. Seven to keep my life simple and easy. Uh, Thirteen, um, nine, and ten. All right. So we're ready to uh, place our uh, footprints or uh, uh, components on our layout. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take this move it somewhere here I want to keep this symmetrical uh, I will move this uh, here um, this um, things will go um, in four different corners of the PC and I will keep going and uh, trying to arrange and uh, place this uh, footprints in a way that will uh, minimize uh, routing that will be required and uh, the number of crossings of all of this uh, lines that indicate the connection that we'll have to create uh, du during uh, routing so uh, uh, let me uh, do that and uh, after uh, placing all of the uh, footprints I arrived to a layout that looks like this uh, as I said uh, I tried to place uh, all of this uh, footprint so that I would have a um, symmetrical as, as possible uh, PCB board here uh, now I want to uh, set the edge cut so I'll uh, go and um, start uh, well let me select that go here go long enough to have some uh, clearance here go down Uh, do I have the same distance uh, from the middle to this side and from the middle to that side I may need to correct this a little bit let me see um, so I'll take that and move it down a bit and then this and uh, move it down a bit and then I'll have to adjust this adjust this adjust this this uh, you know uh, to be paranoid uh, we'll double check that we've got the same distance okay 620 on this side and uh, 620 on that side so we're good we have enough clearance here maybe too much actually um, so uh, but good enough uh, one more thing uh, we should move this and place it here at this corner like so uh, do 
the same for the other ones. We want to keep everything within the bounding box of our PCB. selecting and, and deleting, deleting some of this helping lines and dimensions that I had I wanted to add some text let's say uh, for 20 um, that's my course at the MU and uh, for 720 sorry uh, 2022 uh, version 2 and uh, place it uh, right here well uh, this is uh, too small of a logo there so let me change that and um, well first of all uh, it should be on the cell screen and then um, I should change this to maybe, I don't know, 64, let's see, 80, okay, uh, this looks good, but a little bit too stretched, so let me fix it a bit more, get 70 here, like this, all right, uh, move it, and place it here, like this, let me check that indeed that is, no, I don't want it to be on the edge, I want it to be okay it's on, on the second screen okay so we're uh, good enough uh, at this time let's save it and um, we'll uh, next uh, go ahead and uh, do uh, the routing